Hey Doombots, Tony Skinjui here with the same hoodie and a different hat to show time has passed. Anyway, today is a review for Cirrus. Cirrus is another uh, high TCP roster and I just wanted to do one uh, very similar to mine to show that the Blitz system does apply to everyone. Uh, Cirrus was very nice enough to allow me to do it, so thank you very much. And let's get right in it. You have a 5 million TCP roster, which means you should be able to push 14 to 15 million in a blitz with no problem. We're going to take a look. Spoiler alert, I already did the review. You can. Uh, but taking a quick look at your roster, you're in the same situation as most players at 4 million plus TCP. You've unlocked everything or everything that has been around for longer than three months. And you're building up your teams. You're finding key components you're working on u7 characters or you're doing what i'm doing which is taking a team that was 100k making them 150 repeating the process obviously you have some pretty good red stars on your phoenix nick fury that one's a little unfortunate right but hey on defense he's still going to do work uh shuri invisible woman i'm noticing the characters uh are exactly where they're supposed to be I'm noticing you also have that five red star namor that we got for free i hate using that word but for milestones uh good red uh, ghost rider and black bolt so you did get him on first pass hella you have a very good investment if we scroll to the bottom of the roster uh, we can see that you're missing uh, just blob and red skull but that's probably inaccurate as of the time of this review you probably at least unlocked one or both of them maybe put a little bit of effort in them i did this review obviously based on what i see not what you would be doing that said if your toad and blob are strong enough apply that to the review as we go forward. Uh, no notes as far as what's going on. I'm going to give you the same advice I would give myself, which is take a either stockpile for the next tune that's coming out uh, or that you're prepared for, or take a team that was previously whatever K and add 50 K to it, 100 to 150, 150 to 200, etc. And that usually is the difference of bring a character up five, K each, you know, each character on team 5K, 10K, 15K, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but that's pretty much what we have to do to keep ourselves busy. Uh, the only real growth we have in our rosters right now is one, bringing entire teams up for war and the like, or getting lucky with red stars or buying so much red stars that you punch luck in the face. As far as the blitz goes, I was able to use most of your roster. So we can just go ahead and close most of the line now you're using a slightly older review sheet ultimately it shouldn't be too much of an issue for the conversation uh you know the rules s teams win an 8-3 a teams win an 8-0 8-1 b teams win in uh pretty much anywhere but eight they're a little bit lackluster and trash teams of course uh are trash and we don't talk about them the teams you'll see here are pretty standard teams i did however Put Sinister on this team. One, he's higher investment than your Pyro. And two, trust me, they will win. He's a little bit better than Pyro sometimes. And if you're really lucky, you can fight a Brotherhood team, steal a Pyro, and then you have the best of both worlds. No notes on the Guardians. No notes on Phoenix. Uh, no notes on Fury Shield or the Asgardians. They are known quantities. They are very likely to be successful in 8-3 for you. Ultron, again, carrying whomever he wants whenever he wants to a victory. This is the only exception. This is the Tony Scangilli special team. You probably know because you've seen my stream. If you haven't, I use this team uh, all of the time. I slightly change uh, one or two characters here or there. I might, for example, I can tell you right now, this is incorrect. That's supposed to be Captain Marvel, and that's supposed to be Captain America. Oopsie. Anyway, I make a, a change here or there. This one has Coulson instead of loki or mantis or whomever it really doesn't matter it always comes down to who they're going to call so if colson's going to call captain marvel because her attack is the highest excellent great news we're going to have a good time if not then we have a different conversation but this should be okay most of the time anyway uh moving on to the a teams again these are where most of the sure to win teams go that said, uh, I would recommend trying this in 8.3. I'm pretty confident that yours is strong enough and balanced enough under 20% variance, which is the highest versus the lowest. Uh, I think this is probably strong enough, especially since Yo-Yo and Black Bolt are their strong ones. Feel free to test any of these teams. The AIM team, 
well known for beating the Brotherhood team, but other than that, not great uh, against like X Men or Defenders. Uh, so be careful with these in eight three. But these are mostly teams that are capable of winning in eight zero, eight one, and eight two on auto fight. I wouldn't worry too much. You'll notice a lot of these teams mirror the teams I do, especially if you're familiar with my stream. The only exception here is I put Spider-Man on your brawlers and I put Pyro with your Spider-Verse. Why? Well, Spider-Man is the worst member on the Symbiote Spider-Verse team. Uh, Pyro, however, puts Bleed Stacks on, which will make sure that Carnage keeps working. He's also a uh, another Dispel, so you have decent access to a Dispel with a Heal Block and Disrupt you can probably do a little bit better than Spider-Man, especially because the characters that are going to be taking multiple turns, Carnage, Venom, and Symbiote Spider-Man, do everything that regular Spider-Man does, just infinitely better all the time. Miles, however, he gets to stay. He's awesome. And uh, now we move into the B teams. Now you'll notice the numberings are a little off. That's mostly because this is an older sheet. Shouldn't make too much of a difference. These characters are, uh, you know, you can kind of tell without going into it. Strife, who needs them? Nobody, right? Not me. Uh, Kingpin, Winter Soldier. I just took a whole bunch of bad guys and threw them here. This should be fine enough to win, you know, in the opening rotation. You might be able to sneak a win in 8-0 once in a while with it. That's why it's the highest one, but I wouldn't. Just use it as a reset team. Uh, as a matter of fact, that one, uh, if you're in 8-3, just take this team, click auto fight. Worst case scenario, you lose, which is what its job is. Best case scenario, you win, get free points, repeat the process. So, that's up to you. Uh, and the rest of these teams, and man Wasp, I keep them together, but they're not great teams, and there's not much they can do. Obviously, there's a world where Korath and uh, you know Hand Sentry are usable. Uh, I don't know if that's the world we live in right now, but for right now, you seem to have quite a big spread of teams. You do have uh, 18 total teams to work with, so don't go crazy on how long you want to blitz, right? 18 times 2 minutes, that's already a 36-minute rotation. We don't necessarily need to push a little bit more. And then the trash two teams, no big deal. So your rotation, I've already wrote it out for you. Uh, yours is very similar again, most players. And if you also have a very high TCP roster, uh, you should also follow a rotation very similar to this. Uh, notice that the B and trash teams are kind of interchangeable. You can treat them all as one or the other. doesn't really matter at that point once you're that high up. It only matters lower because you do want to know where your teams that are capable of making the jump are or where your characters that will be removed as you build teams will go so when you have 18 to 20 teams that are very reliable in uh eight eight zero eight one eight two or even eight three the b and trash teams are interchangeable again you're going to be using one team one fight one kill every time all the way up that's going to put you at seven one at the end of your rotation so you'll do your seven zero fight move to seven one take your break stop by my stream say hi or if you're already there then you're gonna uh, probably time your start with my start and you're going to do the six fights you need to get to A3. I marked it right there, A6 uh, through A1, no problem. And you're going to clear out, once you're in A3, all seven of your S teams. Again, start your Blitz Day with 500 charges. Keep 100 for the daily unclaimed and the 270 from the medic supply run unclaimed this way when you spend your charges uh now where i recommend it your top five teams three times each which totals 375 charges you claim the 100 and the 270 the 370 and you end the day also roughly at cap and that's going to help you spread your charges out so you don't have to blitz every two hours on cooldown you can just blitz three times a day uh, and again Standard rotation every day after the opening rotation is going to be S and A teams, or about 15 is the, the rule of thumb. You want to use you know all of your S teams and then as many of the strong A teams as you can to power through and get the most score. If you can afford to use all of them, great. If you can't, you do want to keep it uh, a little bit on the, the, the tight side. 15 teams at about two minutes of fight is a 30-minute rotation. That's roughly where you want to be. Maybe it goes a little bit more. Maybe it goes to 40. You've seen me do 25 teams in 46 minutes. You've seen me go do 25 teams in as low as 37 minutes uh, when I'm paying attention. So, you know, I don't expect you to take every blitz as seriously or anybody to take every blitz as seriously as, like, focus, do nothing else. That's kind of the point of taking it relaxed, and that's hopefully what you're going to be able to do. Uh, on those days, you're only going to use the top three teams three times each, but 
as we said before, because you do have Ultron, Phoenix, and uh, Captain Marvel, what you can do, just throwing it out there, is take Ultron, take Phoenix, take Captain Marvel, and generate uh, three completely unique teams featuring those characters. Maybe give them a little bit of synergy, uh, but take the strongest other characters you have. So like Ultron, he doesn't need much, so just go ahead and put in like maybe a healer, the strongest hero you have, probably Shuri, maybe an Invisible Woman. Phoenix, kind of the same thing. Throw in Sinister and uh, whoever else you have at a very high investment, whoever you got high red stars on. Nick Fury. Uh, Nick Fury might work a little bit better with Captain Marvel. That's up to you. Uh, either one of them work, but that, that those are just ideas to pad your score on your daily. Again, if we had more save squads, uh, I would recommend saving those teams, but we don't because Fox Nix doesn't want to give them to us, so let's not cry over something we don't have uh, as of right now your uh, your best possible rotation is about 1.2 million it's really good uh your worst is 800k so a nice little average is we're gonna say about 950,000 points per rotation uh and i think that goes without saying that's a pretty high score so your opening score is probably gonna be very similar to mine 2.4 2.5 million excellent news if you blitz uh three times a day just lazy, not paying attention, not even using charges. You're going to get, it's a huge range, obviously, because of the score, but somewhere between 9 and uh, 13 million points. If you use charges, that number is going to shoot up to about 15 to 16 relatively easily. So assuming you're in the average, you're probably going to need to blitz three times uh, a day, you know, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, whatever works out best for you. Maybe one day you have to squeak in, not a full rotation, but an S tier rotation or or something in. So maybe one day is like four, three and a half fights. Uh, and that's going to easily get you to 15 million points over three days with very little effort. Uh, so you're not losing sleep or anything. Conversely, if you're trying to keep track of a blitz score that you believe, for example, the most recent blob blitz was probably 15 million was a safe bet. This uh, will tell you, based on your current score, whatever it is at the time, how many rotations you're expected to do. Best case scenario, this is about 11 rotations, which is two more, but again, this isn't factoring in charges. And worst case scenario is like 18. That's assuming you're losing every fight, everything's going terribly. But as I said, since this updates as you go, you can kind of keep track of how many more fights you're going to have to do. Uh, and it will ultimately be more beneficial to you to keep track of it. Uh, other than that, I don't really have any other advice for you. Uh, I would say that based on what you're doing in war, that might color a little bit of your decision. Or you may be wanting to move to a little bit more of what I do, which is wait for a new character so that you can bring them up immediately and kind of like backwards farm. For example, I don't have Red Skull at the time of this video, but I will within three days of his blitz you know i'll have him unlocked so i'm just kind of buying bio gear up and waiting for that so i can bring him up as quickly as possible that's pretty much what i'm doing alternately you can work on maybe some of your weaker uh teams on war obviously it's a 300k fantastic four team just so you know this team might be an s team and i might have just skipped it i just i've never used the 300k so i can't in all certainty know how good it is i know my team is terribly imbalanced and it wins 50 50 so yours might be better but th there's a couple of other teams uh let's see the sinister six team uh is a pretty good war defense team uh and somewhat a decent offense team so you can feel free to put another 50k on this team you know in 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 vulture and rhino and and get a little bit of value out of it um uh, we're not talking about defenders ever. We know that. There's not really much you can do as far as these characters are concerned. Uh, you might even be able to put a little bit on your Kree and use them as an offense team. Uh, Kree are really good at cleaning up Captain Marvel nodes in war. Just a little advice. Uh, anyway, Sirius, thank you so much for letting me show your roster. I appreciate that. And if anyone's interested in a roster view, you can sign up uh, on my stream or in my Discord. Information is below. So I want you guys to enjoy your evening. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scongelia, and I'll catch you later.